Hi, I'm Danny, and welcome to my channel. For today's video, I have my February update to the Beauty AZ Project Pan. This is a Pantastic Ladies collab that was created by Jessica and Amanda, and I will have all of that information linked down below. This started on January 1st. It goes through the end of the year and is open to anybody who would like to participate. You just take the alphabet and choose a product to go along with each letter. It can be like the name of the brand, the name of the shade, etc. Any way you can relate it to one of the letters, you can put it in here. You do have to get a little bit creative with X and Z and the letter Q. So I've been working on my products for a month now. I am trying to finish up things that are in the 50 Shades of Green as well as the Throwback 30. Since I have till the end of the year to work on this project, I haven't focused a lot on this. I have seven products here that I have used, so I'm just going to be talking about those. The first product is for the letter K. This is my Kat Von D 24 Hour Super Brow Pomade in the shade Dark Brown. This was brand new when I rolled it in here, and over the past month I have used it 27 times, and this is what it's looking like. So I have made a pretty decent dent in this brow pomade. This intimidated me when I first started using it. Actually, before I even started using it, I didn't want to use it because I was very intimidated by a brow pomade. I've heard the stories of it taking panners forever to finish up. I've had this in my collection for quite a while. I got it through probably BoxyCharm, and I am so happy that I'm using it. I love the formula, I love the color. I have it in my brows today. I have also used this one time as uh, an eyeliner where I do my wing. One time like that, I loved it. I don't know why I was so nervous to try out this product. I do struggle a little bit with getting my brows to look similar. The shapes can be off and things like that, but there is a learning curve. I have never done my brows this way before, so I'm trying my best. I'm pleased that I'm making progress on this. So this is the first product I have worked on. Next for the letter M is my MAC Mineralized Skin Finish in the shade Medium Golden. I just used this one time over the past month. I don't have any weight difference or anything. This is it right here. I'm not quite sure what to do with this. I bought this when I was at my tannist. And so this is too dark for me. This is it right here. So I don't know if I should use this as a light bronzer, if I should wait to the summer to see if I get this tan. I'm gonna have to get creative with this. I do want to try to finish this up this year. This is my oldest makeup product. For the letter O, I have my fourth Ray Beauty Maracuja Oil. It was down to here when I bought it into the project and I have used it three times and I am down to here. I do like to mix this in with the lotions that I use. So I've done three batches of lotions where I will mix a little bit of this in there as well as some powdered highlighters. That's how I like to use up some of my palette, highlighter palettes. And so three uses on that. It's probably gonna take me another two, three months to finish that up. For the letter Q, I actually had a product that would work. This is my QMS Meta Cosmetics Active Glow Tinted Day Cream. It was to here when I rolled it into the project and over the past month I have used it eight times and now I am down to here. It does have a pump on it, so you can see I'm making quite a bit of progress right here. I did hit a huge air bubble in here, so I got all of that out. So now it'll be easier to track my progress on this. This is one that I worked on in a project last year and didn't quite finish. So looking forward to finishing up this one. It is not my favorite formula at all. It is very sheer and I prefer a little bit more coverage. Again, this just says a tinted day cream. So I do have to use quite a bit more of this than I would a typical foundation to get a little bit of coverage. The next letter was S. That's my ColourPop and Makeup Shayla Ultra Satin Lip in the shade Slow Down. Over the past month, I have been able to use this 15 times. I did have previous use on this again last year. I'll give you a swatch of it right here. Makes a beautiful lippy. It also makes a great cream bronzer, so I can use it that way as well. 15 uses on this, and uh, still a long ways to go on that. For the letter U, I have my Ulta Beauty Tinted Eye Primer in the shade Champagne. This was not new when I rolled it into the project. I have used it five times this past month and I am about down to here. I finally got the air bubble out of this one as well, so now I can see my progress. This one is so shiny. 
I am wearing it today, and I am able to wear eyeshadow over this, and all of this shimmer and glow does not shine through. Can you see that? It is more like a cream highlighter than an eyeshadow base. It is beautiful, and it works great. I don't have any issues with my eyeshadows creasing or anything like that. So we'll see how long it takes me to finish this up, but five uses in this project. The final product I have to talk about is for the letter Y. This is my YSL Tatouage Couture Matte Lip Stain. Like several other products, this was not brand new when I rolled it into the project, but over the past month, I have used this 25 times. It is a beautiful lip color, but I'm also able to wear it as a cream blush. So I put a couple of dots on my cheeks like that, and then I can blend it out, and it just gives a very soft color and it makes a beautiful cream blush. So that's probably how I'm going to end up working on this throughout the year. I am working on a couple of other cream blushes, but I do like to mix them together and see what colors I can make. I have the stopper out of here, but there is still so much product down in there. I am down to about right here. So this one is going to last the grand majority of the year. <laughs> So those are the products that I have worked on over the past month. I'll have to see if there's anything else in the list of 26 products that I'm working on that I can start working on during the month of February. As the year goes on, I will be able to work on more and more of these items. And in case you're curious what items I have in the project, I have my playlist link down below and I also list out every single product in the description box as well. That is everything that I have for you. Before you go, if you haven't, I hope that you'll please subscribe to my channel and ring that bell so you're notified every time I upload a new video. Thank you so much for stopping by. Mm -hmm.